I am using basic cereal box and cut it to about the size of it's about the size of my hand so like the size of your hand For the mantle, I am using the dough that I made using the recipe in the slides. I like to use this dough because the mantle is made out of molten rocks that are still pretty compact and solid. Uh, the mantle is not as liquid as a lava coming out of a volcano. It is much more in a solid shape, so this dough works well. If you don't have access to the materials for this dough, you can use Play-Doh. Play-Doh would work great. This is all I have, so that's not enough. If you don't have Play-Doh, there are other options. You can use rice or beans. This could work. Uh, and you'll be able to use the rice or beans uh, afterwards for cooking. Or another option is to go outside, use sand, or here I'm using potting soil. So you can use basically dirt, that could work as well. So first you're going to flatten your mantle so that you have room for the crust to sit on top of it. Then you will model what happens at the plate boundaries when the plates are moving. The plates can move in three different ways. They can move towards one another, they can move past sliding one another, or they can move away from one another. Leave the plates sitting on top of your mantle and then start moving them and see what happens at uh, the boundary. You're going to take a photo and upload it in your slide. I'm going to insert them into your slides. Insert image. I'm uploading from my computer. This is an example of a transform plate boundary, the third slide. Resizing the photo to fit in that space. Now, what I need to do is add arrows to show the direction in which the plates are moving. I'm going to go for shape, arrows, I'm going to get the up arrow, this one, actually let's say this one is moving up, and then arrow, this one is moving down. I can change the color if I want, but I have my two arrows here. Finally, I'm going to answer the questions. 